Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Duff, and this is Pins, the brand new feature on Ultimate Golf. It's a lot to digest, so I'm going to break it down. We're going to cover the very first part of it, which is just balls and clubs and how the new pin system is going to affect your shots during head-to-head, -head, during tournaments. So it's a lot. There's mastery pins. Um, we've got some new ball sorting features, but for now, all we're covering is one aspect of the pins and let's just get right into it here and have a look. So how it's going to look in the game, how you get to it is you go under the golf bag feature at the bottom and you'll see the top. Now we've got clubs, balls, and pins. There's three slots at amateur. You automatically get one slot veteran. You get a second slot pro. You get a third slot and then that's it. You're not going to have any more. You can see that mastery off to the right there, the bronze mastery. We're gonna cover that in a different video. That's for now, we're just gonna concentrate on the um, pins. So we've got stats pins and bonus pins. You can see I'm going through just a couple of the bonus pins just so you can have a quick little look. They're gonna add on each hole, uh, things like season points, uh, clan points, club points, uh, mission points, coins, uh, trophies to help you max out those head-to-head -head things even faster. Um, a whole lot of options. We'll go all through, all through those later, but for now, that's just a quick look. Now let's look at the stats. This is the big one. So stats are broken down into clubs and balls. So you can see there we've got some ball stat pins and we've got some club pins. Now clubs are broken down even further into the different types of clubs, or if you get lucky, you can get some that give you all your clubs. So there's gonna be some strategy. You might want distance off the tee, but you might want distance as well on your approach shot. So I'm sure that's gonna make for a lot of content down the road. Uh, I'm gonna keep live streaming around, so you're gonna see what I use. The other guys do the same. Banger's great, Jared's great, but for now, Let's have a look at these. So we've got such stuff as, there's one there, top spin. So now if I've got distance added on a club and I add top spin on a club, imagine the distance you're gonna get out of an RB with plus 20 top spin plus 20 on your distance. Now it, you can see there, it wouldn't let me piggyback. So if I have plus 20 already added on distance, on a driver distance only, and then I try to add plus 12 on an all club, it, it, it's not gonna let me, it's not gonna let it happen. So the, the, it's definitely an opportunity to pick and choose what you're gonna add, what combinations. I mean, I, I'm new to this too. I'm gonna be learning this just the same as you guys. I have not hit a single shot using one of these pins yet. Um, but there's going to be a lot of opportunity. So right now we're going to go through all the different options that there are for these pins. Again, there's lots of other pins. We're going to cover those in, in some other videos, but for now, these are just the pins that affect your shots on a per hole basis. Uh, that's the other thing. So you select these pins at the beginning of each hole. You cannot add them mid hole. So if you decide you get a headwind on approach on a long par five, and you want to add it mid hole, it's just like a ball. You can't change your ball mid hole and you cannot change your pin mid hole. So you have to kind of plan for it ahead and add your pins at the beginning. But here are our pin options. So here's for the clubs. So you can have pins that affect all clubs. They come in three different levels, commons, rares, and epics. Epics I've seen as high as plus 20. Rares I've seen around in the plus 12 range. And commons, I've seen plus one, plus two, uh, and that's it. I'm sure there are more. I spent around 25,000 of my own game cash uh, buying these different pins just so I could show you guys and so I could have a little look-see. Um, that brings up to how do we get these pins? So you can get these pins if you've purchased the season's pass. They're gonna be in there, same as the other stuff. You, you get balls, you get tournament passes. Um, what else do you get? Big shot passes, you're also gonna get pins. Uh, you can also get them by completing the mastery pins. So I'll give you just a little teaser here of what the mastery pins are. So there are for each course, there are achievements that you can uh, unlock for each course. 
Uh, I think there was about as many as 30 for each course. Um, and as you advance and complete those achievements, now you're going to win more pins. Or you can spend game cash and buy them. Right now, the only things you can spend game cash, if you're at kind of end game level, are replays on reds and blues. Uh, if you're advancing through the game, absolutely, uh, people are spending cash on advancing your clubs. Maybe you're buying some balls. Uh, but this gives the guys that have amassed a large amount of money something to spend them on. So here they are. So all club power. So all club, pretty easy power. So you're just gonna add power to all your clubs. All club accuracy. So now you're adding accuracy to your club, which means if you miss left or right, uh, you're not gonna be as far off target. It also means your adjustments are gonna be different for each and every club. So are you gonna use this on a long par three where you're using lightning rod? Maybe not, because now your adjustments are gonna be off. Are you going to use the accuracy if it's you're going to be with a, a hive or maybe coming out of the out of the um, rough? Uh, probably that, that that's when I would use it. But again, uh, I'm going to be learning this stuff along with you guys. It's going to be a fun little learning curve. It's fun because it's a new part of the game. Then we can all learn together. All clubs draw and fade. Um, initially I thought this was kind of chintzy, but, uh, there are definitely holes where I wish I had more draw and fade available or holes where, uh, I would normally use a fusion, but I end up because I want that top spin, but I want to use, I end up having to use an RB because I need that fade or draw to get around a corner. Uh, it brings up another point though. You can combine, you can have as many as three pins on a hole, right? So I might want to add, let's go down and have a look, or here's one here, topspin. So I can add topspin to my RB off the T, which kind of turns it into a fusion. And then I might want to add draw and fade as well. If I don't have one of these all, all stats, multi-stats, here it is at the bottom. If I don't have a multi-stat, I can add, pick and choose one or two of the other ones to combine them to create that perfect shot, which is gonna be dependent on wind. I mean, man, this is adding a whole new element to the game. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of discussion, I imagine, happening between the clubs. If you're not a member of a country club, now's your chance to join one. Get a good chat going, because I'm sure there's gonna be a ton of discussion on what happens with these pins, when to use them and in what holes. So here's a couple more that are the options. So you've got the top spin one. I can see that definitely coming off the tee. Uh, and as well, imagine now you've got hive, uh, mid-range hive, uh, or like a close around a 25, 30% hive. Now you're adding all that extra top spin. You wanna get it on the ground as sh quick as possible. Get it out of the wind. Man, this thing could be dangerous. Look at this, backspin. Now, if you pull an epic with backspin on a long par three, now you've got lightning rod with all that backspin? Come on, how's that gonna react? I, I'm very excited to give these a run. I, again, I have not hit a single shot with them yet. I'm excited to see what happens. Uh, so again, all of these can then further be broken down into different types of clubs only. So these are, you can win these pins as all clubs or you can win them as just wedges, just irons, just woods, just drivers. The only thing none of these will ever improve is shot view. That might be coming down the road, I hear, but for now, nothing is going to improve shot view. So what you see is what you get. So that covers the clubs. Now let's look at balls. Uh -huh. So we're looking at ball power. So you can add ball power. Now this you can piggyback with club power. So if you get an epic and you get a plus, I don't, I haven't got one yet. So maybe it's a plus five ball power. So if you go to a plus five and you piggyback that with your distance on your club for a 20, now you're looking at adding 25 yards to whatever driver you have off the tee. So RB is the longest that you've got. Imagine adding 25 yards to that. A lot of par fours are now reachable. I think every par five in the game is reachable in two now. If you're adding this, this is a game changer. Uh, ball wind. So now you're you're adding wind resistance, pretty obvious, to the ball. Ball side spin, putt zone, swing zone, putt meter, swing meter, 
overshoot, and all stats. So something like swing zone, you might want to add if you've got, if you know you're putting a ball into the rough or the sand. Maybe you want to add swing zone to your ball and you want to add accuracy to your club. Basically make that how many times we've all missed one out of the rough and the sand. It, it just happens. Now you can add, give yourself every advantage available to make that shot. And we all know drops are what win tournaments. Um, so that's it. That is our quick rundown of, oh, look, I went too far. Our quick rundown of just the stats pins that are available so far in Ultimate Golf. We're going to cover the rest of them. The mastery pins looks pretty fun. It adds a whole new achievement levels for everything. Uh, there's a new look for ball sorting. So now in your game, you can sort the balls by uh, pretty much every stat available. If you want to sort sort by uh, accuracy, by well, whatever it is, um, swing meter, wind, no more scrolling a million times by distance. And you've got still the bonus pins still to cover. We'll cover those another day. And we've got now these. So these are the, the pins that are going to affect your shot. A lot to cover. It's a lot to digest. We're going to cover more videos. I'm going to be putting out a lot, I think, in the next first few couple weeks. Uh, just showing all the different combinations, what they do, how they affect your shot, which holes to use them on, which not to. But here's your first look at all this stuff. Thanks. And... Good luck out there.